Hello, my name is Chris Romano, and we're going to talk about Johnny Cool, who happened to be the most famous artist in the history of, the, of Massachusetts. Who was he to you? He's my dad. <laughs> <coughs> my mom said to me when I was 14, your dad's not who he said he was. I mean, I said, what do you mean? Your father was uh, an arsonist in the 70s. And I said, I don't really know what that is at all. Anything that you could get for insurance, you're burned down. Because of that, we are put in the Witness Protection Program. No, I said, what? And she said, you're in the Witness Protection Program. Your real last name's not Romano. It's Shaheen. You're not really Italian. You're Lebanese. And I was like, Oh, uh, man. Uh, man, my dad is known for burning down the most amount of places in the history of New England. My dad's real name was John Shaheen. He went by Johnny Cool. But the thing is, they, they called my dad and his partner, Georgie, the Gold Dust Twins. Pronunciations. I'm sorry, my pronunciations, but it's you fine. can understand. I can understand. You can understand. Yeah. Georgie was like, "I got this job. We should go do it." What do you mean you burn down? One of the biggest hotel constructions in in New England. This is perfect. So they go to the hotel. They meet up with the guy. The guy who's hired him says, "I need you to burn this place to the." F ground. I owe a lot of money on it. I put too much money into the rooms. I put too much money into the carpets. Put too much money into the kitchens. I put too much money into the, the into the drapes. And my dad says, no problem. I'm the best. That's why you had me come here. So, so my dad burned that Hotel down. And what was crazy about my dad was, while the place was burning, he would stick around and watch it burn down with the fire department and everybody else and go, wow, that's a fire, huh? And people go, yeah, that's a Crazy looking fire. And you go, woo, thing is, looks hot. Um. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh. <laughs> right. Chris Romano. In 1979, my dad was arrested for uh, counterfeit money. And he said, counterfeit, um, that's nothing. Let's talk about arson. The agent was like, OK. He burnt down over 200 houses, 100 cars, 100 boats, hotels, liquor stores. I'm, a, I'm good at burning down. The agent was like, excuse me. Um, this guy just is telling him he just broke open the biggest arson case in the history of Massachusetts that we've been trying to solve for 10 years. I'm not going to be home for dinner or breakfast or lunch. The investigator said, you can go straight, and we're going to give you that opportunity to go straight. Just tell us who you work with, and uh, you know, we can make this uh, very, very easy for you. He just found out that my mother was pregnant with me. So he ratted it on his best friend. He ratted on everybody he ever burnt down a house for. And that caused everybody to go, well, I want to kill you because you have just told on me. And I, 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 I didn't have that. And I'm not like a They moved us to New Hampshire. They gave us a new identity. And they gave him the money and they said, you can't 
like anybody else who's in a winter sports auditorium, you can't do what you normally did in, when you were in the winter sports prediction program. Are you gonna do this? And he made him go straight, Johnny. And he said, I think so. But you know me. If all else fails, all I wanna do is burn, burn, burn. If people ever have the fact that people think they know who people are, they have no clue who real people, real people know who they are.